Today, the intelligent hoodlums are going to show you... Well, really, it's just one intelligent hoodlum. Today, on the intelligent hoodlums... That's not right either. Blah, 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 blah. Blah. <laughs> ah, crap, I forgot. Today, I am going to show you how to interview yourself using iMovie. Alright, so this is the Versal course, and right now it's a course to be named later. I'll put a link in the doobly doobly do or whatever it's called on the YouTubes. Um, if you go to the bottom, there's a link. It says use the doc here to record your research. That's where we're going to start. So if you click on that and make your own copy, This is a template for you or your student to do research on a person. And that's the project you're going to be working on is you're going to make, do some quick research on a person. And then you're going to turn that into an interview where you are both the person doing the interview and the person being interviewed. So just some basic questions on there. This is a good project to get your feet wet. If you've never done the interviewing thing before, um, it's relatively light on research, but it still hits uh, some of the standards that you'll need to cover. So once you have that template all figured out, um, you'll move on to writing your script. And I suggest you do this in the format of having a table because one of the things about doing the self-interview is you have to remember to pause when the other person is talking. So you write dialogue for one of your characters on one side and then the other character on the other side. And when one person is talking, you fill in pause so that as you're recording the part for each character, you remember that you need to pause for that dialogue that you're waiting for the other person to say. And it's better to wait a little bit longer than to make it short because it's a lot easier to cut some extra out than it is to try and put extra in. Once you have your script all written out, then we can start recording. One really good tip is in those empty spaces, write the word pause so it reminds you that you need to pause while that other person is talking. You will need a few supplies for this, nothing too extravagant, some really basic stuff. First, you'll need some duct tape ripped into three strips, uh, some costume pieces to cover your identity, and that's about it. So to get started, you'll open iMovie, and you're going to record just right from the um, import, but you could also do this with a separate device and then import your video later. Position yourself so that you are on one side or the other, depending on which character you're playing. A word of advice on, on clothing choices, you want to avoid blue or green with at least one of your characters so that you don't green screen yourself out and look like a weird ghost person. So once you've recorded that, um, you can hit stop, switch your costume, move to the other side, again, making sure you're staying between those two areas of tape. Record the second se section with the other character. Make sure that you remember to pause while you're waiting for that person, the other person to talk. And then once you've done that, you can hit stop and import both of your, uh, close the window so that it imports both of your clips. So drag one clip down to the bottom and then you can drag the second clip right on top of that first clip. And as you see, I dragged mine in after and you can just move it right on top. It might take a little finessing to make your sections line up, but then I'm gonna go up to the top and I'm going to change my uh, setting so that it is blue slash green screen. And then I get these little handles and I can adjust the handles. I want to make sure I'm not making myself disappear. I'm making the other half of the room disappear. And it also makes the other me appear. And if you get it right in the middle, you might have a little bit of lighting differences, but um, for the most part, it should be fairly fluid. And this is why it's important to not cross over that middle section. So you can adjust it, crop it as you need to to make sure that your parts line up. And again, it's a lot easier to crop out extra talking than it is to 
try and lengthen someone just sitting there quietly. And once you have all that lined up, you're good to go. I hope you and your students enjoy using this assessment tool, project authentic assessment. It's awesome. Web's out.